So, so for context, right, I cannot go to Facebook because they've kind of banned me, right? Facebook kind of sucks these days. I can't advertise for 24 days, 22 days, right? Can't go live for 22 days because of some right wing asshole named Stikes and Hammer 666. <laughs> if you're wondering, censorship is a left and right wing thing. It's because people just want cheddar at the cost of everything else, right? Censorship occurs because YouTubers get poor. That's. If you're an SJW like me, you, that's, I'm sorry, that's the world we live in. It doesn't matter whether you're left or right. If they feel like you're a threat to their monetary security, they just kill you off, right? I'm not making any money. I'm not even bought off, which is one of the dumbest things I've seen. Could be Mark Dice, could be Stefan Molyneux. It doesn't matter who it is. Tim Pool, right? Jimmy Dory, TIT, it doesn't matter. If they're a threat to your monetary health, to their, if you're a threat to their monetary health, they just eliminate you, period. It doesn't fucking matter what it is. And if you're small, they just bully you and take you out, right? Or not, not established enough. It's always been like that. People always stab each other to get to the top. Think about a corporation, right? Right? Why, why do you think independent YouTubers go away? It's because at the end of the day, they all operate like a corporation. They operate like a monopoly, right? So, I'm sorry. Um, if, you, if you're a YouTuber, an aspiring one, or business owner, Paul, YouTube, everything, there's no such thing as independence. You, 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 become, you become a core, you act like what, you, you, you want to know how independent people get bought off? They start behaving like a corporate, like an S-class corporation. Yeah, you get bought off, and I'll post these things on Facebook eventually. But I can't because I'm having too many roadblocks right now. Yeah, Stikes and Hammer Six 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 is like a one big ass traffic jam, right? It's like a traffic log. It's like, like one of those logs, they're like stuck in the river. And the, the, the stream, right? The stream, the river stream, right? Which is my videos, just can't go through because the, the log called Stikes and Hammer 666 is blocking the way. And no matter how much you honk the horn, he won't move. And so too is Zuckerberg. He is another log, right? Let me go show you an analogy. River with a log. Smaller streams. And with the spring thaw, the dramatic river drive began. There you go. Sluice gates were opened to flood the stream beds, and thousands of pulpwood logs started the long trip downstream. Log drivers so those logs worked are getting in my way, days right? To get the logs moving and to keep them on their way. 12-foot pike poles of black spruce or ash with screw tips were used to pull and prod the bulky logs. Sometimes, dynamite charges were placed under key logs to break up snags and jams. Splash dams could be refilled and opened several times during the spring driving season to flush the accumulated logs downstream. Much advance work had been done on the stream beds to facilitate the drive. Obstructing boulders had been blasted, snags removed, and low... So here's the thing. When I, if I were to start college and from scratch, I would have done filmmaking for a while because that's the best way to start a business in my opinion, right? You still have to advertise. You still have to learn stuff fast. It's going to take me way, way, way longer than most people, right? But if you have superior genetics, which is why I like praising people with good genes, because they can just learn this shit in like three days under high pressure stakes environment. So 
I know the rich people dick around, right? Jeff Bezos' son dicks around all the time. Right? If he wanted to help his dad run his company, he should try to get clientele first, right? He should be doing roasts like me. Right? He should he should be learning a lot of these softwares really quickly, right? He should be going to open shot. He should <laughs> he should be, hey dad, teach me I, I need money for Photoshop, right? If he can't get it, you know, try he should be setting up a bunch of stores, right? Maybe he criticizes Amazon in private. People like me just get pressure to go to school because why not, right? So he would me like me don't understand the context of why I need to go to school. And now if I got explained to me, I would do it no questions asked. I'm more like a machine in life. And they don't explain anything to me. They just yell at me and then it's like, well, at least the ones I know. And then when I feel like I'm forced to, instead of having people slowly explain to me why I need to do something right, <laughs> I'm one of those people where you have to explain something and like, oh, okay, I won't get distracted. Now I know why I need to do this. They never explain why, by the way, because they're not even consistent themselves, right? I wouldn't even complain, right? Like they even arrange marriages, right? It's like, well, here's why you marry this guy. And the funny part I'm learning is they're not even consistent in that direction either for what they're claiming to support. No, seriously. <laughs> Want me to eat asparagus? Sure. Explain why. Bakes the, you don't just... I actually got a short explanation. I believed it. Right? The, the sugar thing, right? I, I, I wasn't going to short myself on sugar yet, but I didn't believe it before because I looked at my BMI and everything else. It was fine for a while. So I, I, the only time I disagree is when I think I have a credible argument. It's not because I'm lazy. Right? I, I, if I feel like I have a credible economic argument, that's why I should have went to a monetary because then, then, I would, then I would not do it. Now, if you have a better argument than me, I will change my mind. My parents don't like playing that game. I'd much rather be with people who would love playing that game. Right? Because then I have a stable mental core, and then I can keep doing stuff without getting disrupted. So anyways, it, yeah, you, you learn this, this Photoshop software, right? You've got good genes. Just learn stuff quickly. You learn it all in like three months, right? And then you keep doing it like thousands of videos or hundreds, right? Then you start advertising enough, you get your clientele that give you out of pity. Then you say, hey, you know, I want to, I, I, I'm struggling, right? Worst case scenario, I'm struggling to meet ends me, right? I really like a stable job, Dad. <laughs> I'm just going to use Jeff Bezos as an example because I'm working for Amazon. I don't know who Jeff's son is. I don't even know if it matters, but who knows? Let me go search it up. I think he has a son. Okay, Preston Bezos. So let's say Preston Bezos decides, hey, look, right? I need to go become an artist so I can go get start my own business from the ground up without asking for a $5,000 loan, right? I would have just waited before I go to school, and that way I can build up my portfolio. <laughs> I hate saying this because real life sucks when you try to start from the ground up. And if you do enough podcasting, get your traffic up, no money comes, right, because everyone fibs. Someone will accept you eventually, right? They're hoping. Worst case scenario, you go beg, right? Ah, fuck, I would beg, too. Because people who have good genes are better at begging. Bill Gates, same story, right? I'm just telling you the brutal reality of what happens. You have to run more roadblocks for people, right? Rory Jones. Rory John begs, right? Yeah, yeah, it does the same thing. You, you do that. You, so you you build up a personal brand of yourself, whatever it is, right? You do cool video skits. You, you talk about what your subject competency is. And if it's credible, go for it. That's why the, the indirect route is very painful. It's not worth it for most people. I like doing it because at least... People can filter their advice once they see enough video skits, right? 
they say, okay, go to this school, go to that school, right? They wouldn't, I wouldn't have to waste my time just go applying to random schools in the job application process. So the reason why my mom and dad were impatient is because they, they knew the rich people were still in on the scam. They believed in the assumption that those people will hire them straight away. At least my dad did. And assumptions aren't always accurate, right? That's where the scam is. It's an error. Right? And the error is assuming everyone you deploy in a big corporation actually has your best interests at heart. Right? If you've ever been to a college, they're very anti-corporate. I should tell you all you really need to know about how valid your financials are, right? And that doesn't mean anything, but it's one step now. It only means something. And no, I'm serious. If you, and you're saying, well, if they can't sell you a valid, if they're not giving you a valid because they're conflict, if they can't give you a valid sheet, you might as well just find some, just might as well brainstorm the ground up, like I'm saying, wait for someone to present alternative models, which I'm doing right now, of training people. So here's here's what here's why I'm different, right, from other people. Because I am someone who likes to deeply understand this stuff. And a lot of these people, they just say, well, I just need to hire five thousand accountants today because I believe the economic situation this economic the the state of the economy was the same as what it was when the company was first founded. Here's the thing about programming. It's flexible. Now, why? Now, now, questioning doesn't mean anything, right? Now, how do you change the model? Here's how I would have changed the model. I already talked about homeschooling. You just train people from the ground up, wait, right? Have, have them do free work for you for a while. And then the other model, right? You say, well, I have a problem. I don't trust you guys. How do you counterbalance that counter coin of interest so they can have give you more transparent data? I know you want to get promoted. You have to now play the retarded game of the office, right? You say to yourself, well, I don't really want to give you a pay raise, but why don't you build some bridges with this other, this is how you kill people. Don't do this unless you're a dick fag. You want to get promoted to the office. Why don't you uh, work for UPS for free? Maybe I can give you a pay raise. That's how you figure out, that's how you force them to have transparent data. You're not entirely serious, you're fibbing. I want you, like if you're Microsoft or Amazon, right? You just say, hey, I, I want a programmer to do some coding programs for UPS and Google. Now they may say, why? Well, I know colleges are anti-school, are anti-corporate. Sorry, I'm trying to They're anti-corporate. I know you don't really have my best interests at heart. Sure, you care to some extent about my company. But at the end of the day, you're th always thinking you deserve more compensation. So it wouldn't surprise me if your some of your HR complaints are bogus. And then you describe the profit motive of, hey, look, you don't like talking to people. Look down on the list of, uh, of uh, look down the list of why, now you just look at, you know sales is the only thing that makes money if you're a CEO. Right? You're talking to people, you see it. If you can't see it, right, you bring that up effective immediately. Hey, okay, I know you don't like talking to people. How does that help me drive sales up? Hmm. Well, and then the next thing you say is, well, I need someone. If you're not going to tell me how, you, if I can't visibly see how you're making sales, why don't we have some flexibility? And you say, leeway. You want to move up? Yeah. We'll go work for some of these smaller suppliers. Maybe they'll be my next clients. You force them to work with people. They don't have to like each other. They'll pay your favor back. And that's your OT. Forget about it, right? I'm not generating enough sales. Now, here's what happens. The sales team, they might get pissed the fuck off if they actually need them to work OT for those products. And the sales team comes by, right? You play this game of, of chicken. They decide, they decide to... Disrupt your social node that you started. And then he's like, hey, hey, no, Bill, we, we need him to make this product effective meeting. Are you sure? 
He's doing free advertising for me. He's working for another company. He might be a dislikable little shit. I mean, he will never, he might say that in private. But he's doing advertising. Now the sales guy will be like, huh. And he can be a client, huh. What are, what are my conversion rates, right? I don't care if the deadlines are pushed back. I have a legitimate customer. That's how you start this game. I used to do this the last time I got hired on Amazon. You, you kind of have to play this game because you don't trust the corporation. And the managers can't get anything done with HR. Yeah, it's kind of stuff you don't want to talk about. People complain all the time. And it was really, um, I only took action because there was no work. It was drying up because people bitched too much. Right, so they kept complaining, like, oh, we need the machines, right? We need a bunch of other stuff. It was just too annoying for me to deal with. I was like, well, my work's drying up because you guys are all bitching in the office, right? So I just got, like, the manager from the small shift and the big shift to pit against each other. So, well, if you fight, I can actually get work for once, right? That's the only way you get stuff. You just have them all cuss at each other. I don't care. I'm not moving up anytime soon. Like, I'm sorry. You play the Pocahontas game in the office. You just say, hey, look, um, I can't change you, but I can certainly uh, play the checks and balances game. Why don't we let the free market decide where your fate is, right? A billionaire for a reason. Right? You know, your free time. I, I, I need you to work for some of these companies for free. Right? That's not OT. I need. I, I can hire. You. I, I'll take the risk. Right. That's my personal opinion. I, I'll, I'll literally hire someone like off the bat that doesn't have half of those requirements. If he's willing to, if this is how you play the cutthroat game, right? If you're willing to, in your free time, go do some sales proposals to FedEx, do I care? And you can literally replace people. Yeah, you, know, you can get the same skill sets to play it safer and just not as much years of experience. But what does years of experience in programming matter if there's no sales to it? Because the customer will take the chance on the guy who talks. He's willing to get roasted. He's not going to care about the guy with 20 years of experience. That's just simply not going to happen. Now, if it's a salesperson with 10 or 20 years, different story. I hate talking about the truth about this. But I'm doing a real video and I'm an artist. I might as well sell myself some incredible because that's what I want to be. If I can do it, of course. So, well, let's see. Bill Gates has siblings. Rory John Gates has Phoebe, Adele. Well, I mean, they can start a little club there and <laughs> do some YouTubing videos. <laughs> they can just... Yeah, just do a couple enough, get some followers, and see if they buy any stuff. Eventually, they can vouch indirectly, right? I can't develop that fast. You, you, like, look at where I'm at right now. I'm using Canva right now for, like, free, and I can't even, uh... I'm, I'm fibbing on, like, buying the uh, actual version. I can't learn stuff fast enough. I'm thinking of doing both. I could talk about infinite amount of content, but that's because I, I deep learn, right? Right? This is this is a sad uh, reality. So you videotape enough, you get a free way of uh, a sustainable path. You, can, you can't now if you can win scholarships at the same time, that's fantastic. And then once you get enough friends, what you end up getting is the U.S. government to intervene, and now you do drug running, right? And then, then stuff gets paid off. I'm probably gonna go do that. Just give me like five or ten years to develop. I would have done it now. Now I, I now my parents. My parents don't like me thinking. Right? They want to need me to do stuff now. Right? They they go run and do shopping immediately. I'm the guy who's like, put me in a room. I'll let me think about this for a couple weeks. Right? You don't have to pay me anything. I'll starve. Let me just think about this. Right? My parents don't like that. You gotta go. Throw money at shit, right? Immediately. Right? I'm going to question what you spend your free time on, right? And it's like, okay, I, I can't always focus, right? Sometimes, And my biggest problem is like, I can't process information quickly enough. 
it takes me forever so my brain freezes. I don't have a procrastination problem. You have uh, Bezos. You you you're in the independent. You're everywhere, right? Why don't you talk to some of these reporters? Set something up for you, right? I don't know if he's alive or dead. I have no idea, right? Rich people tend to rich people's siblings tend to do a lot of uh, stuff that I don't like. Okay. Right? Just think about it, right? I, I'm always the I think about it, and that always looks bad to certain people. Some people just, I just need to spend to it immediately, right? I don't need to take money. I, I, like sometimes I really have to ponder about this problem called getting a higher education, getting a higher paying job. Because some, some things are just not that simple. Like, yeah, got a super brainy son, right? He's your big brain, get some commercial ads, right? Like, throw your six figures at the independent, right? That's what I would have done. Because I thought about how you would be able to do this the freeway. You don't have to throw six figures. The joke is other people throw it for you. You got your connections. Why not? People pity you. Yeah, and, you, you, and then you slowly build your skills up from the arts because arts is commercial, right? Marketing, right? You need to learn. Now, now, if you're, now, if you're lucky, right, you got good brain, you take a marketing course, learn everything in like three months, right? Hey, Dad, let me take a break. Let me head into marketing. Let me let me think about this problem because the, the best solutions often do not come in a single day, right? I, I thought about this because I thought about this for months and years, right? If you don't give people time to think about shit, right? And you're in, in now, it's a different story for a corporation, but if it's your son, right? And you were to mention that, there's some people that won't even take the chance on you, right? And then you get terrified, and now I learned that mistake, and now like now I don't care anymore because I see what happens to people who just jump fast all the time and have no system to prevent themselves from the shockbacks effect of jumping too fast. Right? Amazon is created by people who jump too fast, throw money. Nothing wrong with that. But then what happens if you forget what what was the incentive, what was the impetus that drove you to jump that fast and rise that quickly in the first place? If you, and and that that work, it, I'm just saying, and, and it's fine. He can just throw money at Preston, right? And the problem always gets resolved. And I'm just saying, if you now if he had to think about it for a while, this is what you would have done, right? If you're if one skill fails, you find another cheap way to go jump to another skill. Or you use your brain to to have these skills interconnected. Otherwise, it doesn't work eventually. Now, I don't know if I'll succeed, but what I do know is that I'm continually driven to, to keep making this stuff because I know it's providing value to someone. Yeah, this is complexity. And com complex, big problems take a long time to think about. Now, for Preston, this could probably take like two days because he's got, he's got a royal family, right? Right? And they just learn fast. I don't know what their gene pool is, but just learn fast. Boom! Right? 4.0. He can think about it in two days, so it's iterable for me. Me, I have to think about it for a couple of years, like lowborn. People like me will get shelved out because I take too long to come up with a solution. Press it. Pressure. Three hours. Boom. Right? They may not want to do it, but they can. Come up with the same thing I just said. Under pressure, right? Yeah, people look at Bill Gates' siblings. They can come up with the same shit under pressure. Two, one to three hours, right? Do they want to do that? No. You want to know why? Because they have money. Right? If you have money, why do you care? Right? Bill Melinda Gates Foundation, they're very generous. Right? Yeah, Phoebe, Adele, Jennifer, oh, they're, they're posing with the Jonas's. Why do I want to go find a 
cheap, easy, possibly cheap, easy alternative way to go to school. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I got the Bill Melinda Gates Foundation throwing money at me. I can learn stuff fast. <laughs> it's not funny, sorry, but I don't know. I just see people, they just kind of throw their lives away to booze or alcohol. IDK. JK, right? I can come up with some, a better system, maybe, right? A better A-B system. You, you say that specifically, right? Now, if I said, now the better reason is like, can you come up with a feasible A-B system that you can use to get to get your own way, right? To at least somewhat pay for college, like a system that can actually give you income. Or waste less time, right? Waste less resources in getting school and making the payoff. Yeah, it would have happened. Yeah, because look at how how much they don't struggle in school. Must have must be able to happen, right? Must must happen, right? Probably can acquire life skills faster. Got a stable family, possible, right? Because the reality is, nothing happens without a stable A/B testing system, right? So it doesn't matter whether you throw money or everyone when they walk has an A/B system to hitting a goal, right? Like when you're trying to lose weight, you're always looking to diet, right? You're not thinking about necessarily how to how to get go from 160 to 140, right? Right. So you're thinking of instead of uh, eating less food, right? Switching your diet to keto, right? Because you have a routine, right? Someone like uh, what's this guy's name? Rory John would have figured it out within three hours because. Hey, look, he's rich, he's smart, he can read the social cues, right? People like me would have had, huh, I really got to think about this. Right? Isn't that the expectation you should have put? Because they got through the school system, therefore, that I think so anyways. Yeah, so, because I can't do that in a quick time of time, I just use my free time to help with these solutions because they take forever. This is a very fascinating topic. Because like, once you have money, you get all this money you can throw out. They just go to school and they become successful. But the problem is long-term, if you go by that strategy, there's no guarantee they'll sustain your royal dynasty, right? So take a look at Prince Harry, right? And Prince Meghan. So Harry did the wine and dash quick quick influx of cash strategy, right? So in the long run, they live a relatively comfortable life. But in terms of whether it helps your dynasty expand, probably not. But it's so risky, right? Like, don't you want your child to live a better life? What you had, right? And by better life, I mean not struggle as much initially. But by taking away the struggle, right? You have turncoats. You have a higher chance of turncoats. Because there's the gratefulness isn't there. There's no guarantee anyways. Right? By doing the because you think, well, it must be easy to start a business. But really the context that missing is is that, hey, your dad threw cash at the screen, right? Money at the screen. And they pitied you enough to make it like, well, oh shit, I got to make this business successful. That factor of, well, he just threw billions of dollars to start my son's company, right? Like Jeff threw billions of dollars to help Preston start his own business. Well, uh, it's worth a billion. If he fails, then it looks like too much of a scandal moment, right? That kind of meme. So yeah, this is so this is this is what happens when you don't have people thinking about how to go to school and they they just get money because you just quick and quick influx of cash. You get people like this because there's no incentive to create an A/B system whatsoever, an A/B testing system that can give you an internally strong core that allows you to work consistently. Right? No incentive whatsoever. What incentive? They just throw cash and people will make your business successful out of pity. 
It's the pity game. It's the pity card. That's what happened with Jess Company, but now he he definitely had some ability, don't get me wrong. Right? He timed it right, economically speaking. He still didn't take really anything for granted. But what happens to the next generation in line, usually, or eventually, is that they'll completely take it for granted. Right? Yeah, and then what they'll do is be like, well, it's just getting successful. Any industry I run into, I just, I just ask my dad for money, and it just succeeds, period. I'm not going to understand the inner mechanism and how it works, right? It's the pity card. Right? The more money Bill throws, the more successful it gets. That's not an accurate reflection of reality, by the way. <laughs> and what ends up happening with a lot of Bill's uh, grandkids is that they learn that pretty painfully later on because people cue them in, right? Within like the mid phase of the business development. It's like, actually, we just pity you. That's why I got successful. We just found some of our own old clients for free. It's the same for getting a job too. They'll clue you in halfway. It's like, well, you might be competent and they're competent. And even if you're competent, they'll still say, we threw it in, we, we made a success out of pity. I'm serious. And, and that's, and, and you don't have, you're not incentivized to care. And that's the one I'm trying to say. If you come from a money class. Yeah, and so if you have to do it the AB way, that's the Asian style of spending, right? You be conservative, you start haggling, you start yelling at the at your suppliers, right? To cheapen their products. Right? Live like a hermit, right? You, you spend your money on insurance cards to protect yourself, right? The pressure your suppliers to sell goods at a cheaper and cheaper quantity, right? You know, an Instagram influencer like these chicks. Don't be too expensive. Um, go go for the cheaper option, right? Maybe purchase them later down the line. Have those hard conversations. Now, if you're rich, forget about that, right? Uh -oh, we're 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 we're, torch, we're scorching at least a hundred mil already straight off the bat. Purchase them. No guarantees whether they make money. By the way, just so you know, it's not just the rich kids that do it to their rich family. The employees do the same thing. Welcome to the Microsoft marketing team. I'm not going to have a serious conversation with the data analytics team because I hate them. I know one likes each other. That's the real conversation you should be having. Hey, does anyone like each other in the office? Very quickly, you find out, you want to know why you want to learn how to do that? So you can get people to behave the way you want them to. Because let's say you don't, well, you don't want the marketing to perform. You get them to pit each, against each other. You get everyone to pit against the marketing team. Well, everyone hates each other. Well, the enemy of my enemy is my friend is a quote for a reason. Donald knows this pretty well. I do think there's campaign shakeups all the time. It works. It's cheap. It's brutal too. Right. right so, uh, so which with the uh, with a lot of rich people, the 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 correct quote people correct approach is defined in this quote. I'm going to change the word. Mental illness is the pinnacle. It's what you're aiming for, right? That's what people are aiming for. They're hoping the kids are mentally. By that I mean puts it. Now, that doesn't mean they're actually impotent. We're talking about crossing by uh, people's cash, right? It's a painful thing to say. That's terrible to say. You know, you're Bill Gates. You did all this good in the world. I hate talking about this sometimes because I, I want to live in the world where <laughs> everyone's nice to each other. But there's a reason why that model died. And it's because back then people were, 
people allowed people like me who took a while to think about problems to basically just openly say their mind. And there was like, huh, I don't know anymore. You just farted. <laughs> like, yeah, it's true, it worked for me, but uh, there's a lot of context that you're missing. That's how the conversation spirals down here. You know, what? You, you go, I, I can't go to school, Eddie? Yeah, let me, why don't you, uh, why don't you come up with a model? That's when the conversation goes down south. And that's what people talk about street starts. That's how you get street starts. Why don't you come up with a model to maybe sell me, sell me something, sell me this pen, right? Sell me something convincing. That's what I should have said. Now, if you can sell me something, right? That's what I'm basically saying, the AB system. I know it's hard for me to quantify this. This is a very complex topic. And one way of explaining it, the AB testing system, another way of explaining it, sell me this pen. You can't sell me anything, fuck college, right? Because employers just want you to sell shit all day long. Start with step one. <laughs> Dan Locke is right. Sell me this pen, right? Come, or come up with a way. That's better. Come up with a way or a system to sell me this pen later on. Or come up with a system to sell me a list of sales propositions or a list of methods to help to sell me this pen. Or if you can't sell me this pen, come up with a methodology to sell pens to multiple other clients. If you can't do that, let's move down the list. Okay. So, so me the idea you can get a bunch of clients, right? Right, Dan Locke wasn't that plain about it. But that's what you do. When you can't do that, go for the next best thing. And if you can show me you've actually tried, let's talk about school. Yeah, because not everyone succeeds. Now you say, well, then you can have an honest conversation like let's say, Rory, I, don't, I doubt it. I think he's a very successful young man. ITK, I don't know. Just say, uh, hey, tough conversation. And Rory's like, I am weak in these specific areas. Now, if you don't want me to send me, I really want you to send me to school because I don't really want to fix them. Now, if you do, you still want to follow this path, please help me. Right? I've already begged. People really want me to go to school because they don't think it's worth fixing quite yet. They want me to get venture capitalist, venture capital by taking this job first. Because people will have those conversations if they if you say see you try. Say, I'm sorry, Bill. Um, I'm I have to do this job for a couple of years. Now it's Bill, right? He might be like, fuck that shit. I have some money. I are not even money. I have some friends. Right? The community is using the I, I need to take this job for 10 years as a bargaining chip for his dad, Bill Gates. The goal is to draw a bill out, right? Because it's a negotiation one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> That's the depressing part. Negotiation one-on-one. -on -one. Your goal is to play gambits, right? With the rich billionaire, right? It's like, hey, I represent the poor. I have this client base. I, I, I have a vision. I have a dream. But they want to play it safe because they know my dad is someone with wealthy backing. You know it's going to be a tense game of 3D chess. So 3D chess starts with like, well, if you can't sell me this pen, you go, let's move it on to the next best thing. If you can't do that, move on to the next best thing. Right? <laughs> That's an awkward conversation, but you need to have it, right? The community wants you to have that conversation. Hey, look, I want to help boost this entrepreneur up. You've kind of shorted him too much, right? You know, back in the old days of Microsoft, right? He, he did, this is the type of stuff I, I kind of had to do, sort of. I never told anyone about it. So I'll be honest about it now. I never really thought about openly talking about it until now because I haven't figured out how to truly develop myself. Right, let's go down the list. I don't have school intelligence, right? But I have this. Right? Hey, he, he needs help. I, I want to help him in the hopes he helps me someday because I'd rather just work a fixed income cash flow job. That's respectable. I can't do it right now. Now, rich people now says, okay, I know where to spend my money on. 
I now understand the full context of my college advice. This is called a real conversation. This is what Asians do, Asian peddlers do. What I just described to you is what Asian peddlers did back during the Cultural Revolution. That's why I talk about the Asian culture so much because when salespeople, they're looking for that kind of cultural hustle. In Panama's station. Right? You keep hustling, right? I begged on the streets. I did everything I could. And I need help. It's now or never, do or die. Right? So, yeah, and he's like, okay, you know what? Fuck it. Send you to school. Because the community says school, right? They may be right. Now, the, now, now it's a bargaining chip because it depends on how Bill responds, right? People don't describe what they're saying, but once you have an honest conversation with the community, they suddenly all, because it's the internet, they all suddenly know, okay, I know exactly what's going on. You, you're there to analyze Bill, to help Bill make money, more of the most cheddar, right? Because you know how these transactions go. The community has to make some cheddar on the side too. Maybe they can help Bill later down the line, right? That's your worry. You have to set that up. He could have thought that up if you let him think about it for a Now, he doesn't have to because he could just coast big on the cash, right? I can't even do that. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying you, you have a skill. You have an ability, right? You have a wealthy family, right? They follow a good diet program, right? <laughs> do all these right things. They're in bed with the Rockefellers. They don't have to think of this system of where you just build stuff from nothing. No, they don't. I, I have to. Now, if someone told me you have to do that, right? Then I would have more desperately went to school, right? At least you know they have the drive at worst case scenario. Yeah, I'm sorry. They would have thought uh, anything I thought of. That, now, my comparison is like they would, anything I would have thought for like two years, they would have thought in like three hours, right? There you go. And they learn stuff fast. They're expected to. And you're son of a real estate mogul, right? Don't, don't, they don't have to be CEO right now, do they? Right? Maybe they can do, they can maybe do some shifty stuff for the U.S. government for now. Yeah, and look. Yeah, it's like, I'm sorry. And, and, and look, I'm sorry. A CEOs, they play the LinkedIn game. Now, once they can play the LinkedIn game instead of just straight up sending your son to school, isn't that better? Right? Because now he can because he's got this community support. He's got these endorsements. People pity him faster. I'm telling Rory, maybe it's Phoebe, Phoebe Adele, maybe she comes up with it, right? Because when you're broke and you still struggle, you have to play really dangerous games. They don't because they can coast on Bill Gates' cash. Right? And, and Bill and Melinda's cash, right? Why not, right? right? They can just coast on all their hard earnings because they don't have to think of a system like that. They don't have to say, oh, move on to the next thing down the line. Move on to the next thing down the line. People like you guys do, though. Right? Even if you're from a wealthy backing, start, <laughs> that's terrible to say, right? Because, like, maybe you should pity them, right? So they play, they fall for the pity card, right? Now, if you said, hey, come up with an A-B system, I want you to actually engage in it. Now people will start gagging, and they can't call you heartless. I want you to do it for a couple years, right? Now you're not heartless anymore because you want to hire someone because I want to see your drive. I, I don't want to see you like, I want to make sure you don't immediately coast on the success of big money, right? I want to see you uh, drive. And at the very least, at the bare minimum, I want to see if this makes sense. This is, this, this is, a, way, this is a way to phrase, frame it so it doesn't make the rich look bad when they do this. You say, I, I, if you, I want to see you develop the drive to, or a system to build skills on your own that can actually look convincing to someone. It's the same as the ideology as selling me, sell me this pen. 
business. Tell me your skill set. Tell me how, you, if you can't get a pen, how about clients? How about loyalty, right? How about social media influence, right? Sell me your influence. That is basically what I'm basically saying. Right? <laughs> you gotta sell me something. Because that's what happens before anyone makes a decision in real life. Sell me influence, right? Right? You can come up with a system. Come up with a system. You do it, right? You guys, you guys learned school. You, you went through Harvard or whatever. <laughs> and then I can send you to school. And that way the school's like, okay, this is where your areas are strong at, right? Here, take these classes instead. They'll literally recommend you somewhere else. And then now it's comfortable. It won't be just Bill. Even the community will send some scholarships up your way for free for Bill Gates, right? Because they see legitimate value. Right? I got a sales proposition for you, Bill Gates. And it's not as profitable right now. Right? It's an Amazon-style deal where we want to get more of our jobs back with his son. But it's there. It's not a happy smile, by the way, I'm making. But I'm just saying that's that's real life. That's terrible. That's terrifying. Now, what Rory wants to do is, come on, Daddy, give me some cash so I can go to school. He doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want to sell you anything. No, that's fine. You're rich. You, you're you supposed to get reamed by your uh, siblings, right? Your, sorry, offspring. That's to be expected. That's the sad medieval reality we live in, right? I kind of want to have that, actually. That's why I'm, I'm doing the, the complaint day. That's not really complaining. I'm, I'm, more, uh, I'm, more, I'm more enamored by the fact they can learn stuff fast. Because if you can learn stuff really fast, you can get by pretty well in life. That's worth more than any cheddar in the world. Having a good gene pool, right? I don't even care about the money they have. I care about the fact they can learn shit that quickly. I can't learn stuff. I can't iterate. I can't scale. They can. They can A-B scale test really quickly. Cheddar is like at the bottom. Because if you don't, if you can't acquire skills really quickly, miraculously, and they can because they have royal blood, don't they? They, they can use magic to learn stuff on the go. Cheddar's on the bottom. Of the then what's the point, right? And if they have cheddar, fantastic. They can purchase magic stuff so they can learn stuff quickly, even if they have lowborn genetics, right? right? I can't do that. I have to I have to go look for a magic tutor, right? I may have to look for Moloch. I may have to look for God. I may have to look for the Pleiades. I might have to look for the star, 19 star seeds. You guys, you guys have it all built for you. I don't even care about the cheddar. You, you, you will get your cheddar, right? Because once you can learn skills quickly, that's where your influence starts expanding. If I can sell my influence to someone, someone will give me something eventually. I, I like to gamble on that. I never thought of it like that initially. Like before, I was a cheddar guy, right? Would have been fine either way. Everyone's jealous of people, right? But when I think about it really hard, it's about the skill set. Like right? developing a system where you can learn skill sets and get the funding to develop more skill sets. That's the most important skill ever. And there's no incentive, right? If you have Bill Gates, because the worst case scenario, as a dad, worst case scenario, they just pity you and give you a job. And then you're free. And then you can be a disgrace like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. you the next disgrace. It doesn't matter. That's a pretty nice way to coast. I'm not judging anyone for that. All right? They have a Magus timeline, right? They have mana. Right? Supposedly. I don't know if it's true. Right? They probably avoid those magic mana center gatherings anyways. Yeah. It's tragic. Um, in a sense, right? Yeah, if you have mana, magic and mana, you could probably go to school for free with, with the, the infrastructure you have, with the Illuminati and Skull and Bones. Probably go to school free of charge. Long term. Because you have a pretty stable backing. 
Like, literally, you could probably go on the allowance. Right? You start over completely from scratch, make some magic deals, right? You have the, this backdoor access. That's not hard. You know what you have to do? Say, hey, I'm in Skull and Bones. I'm from a wealthy family. Teach me some ways to hustle. Teach me some ways to make side income that works. I can't do that. Do you know why? Because I don't have any leeway to make mistakes and learn stuff quickly. Right? I'm already exposed to the magic to, to a like, third-hand exposure, so I can learn stuff fast. I just have to not procrastinate, and there you go. I can at least do, like, 50 different failed side projects, right? By that, I mean no customers ping it, right? Here, I'm going to poke you infinitely all day and night. Until you find a, me a free, cheap way to go to school. I don't care where it is. Right? Then you don't have to poke Bill Gates anymore, right? I'll do that every day as my hobby for the rest of my life. That's all you have to do. No, seriously, they will. <laughs> so a lot of rich people just waste time. It's like, well, you're part of these clubs, right? Time to do that in your spare time. No, seriously, dude, you could be the biggest reject in that group, right? Better go free school to Harvard eventually. Once you bump to another enough schools. What happened? He's like, hey. Please, right? You beg in front of them. You do the Chinese bow, right? Let's look at the Chinese. Let's look at, uh, this is the right one. I think it's like Obama was sniffing she, sorry. I know he, oh, I don't see anymore. Anyway, look at the Obama bow. This is a, you have to. You have to do this, right? You have to do this to enough members. And it's like, okay, we'll pity you. Now, they may ream your dad. I doubt it. But give your dad some talking. It's like, hey, give him some skills. Give him some, well, we can transfer some magic, right? Now, a lot of rich people, they have resources that their kids can use, which they don't want to use, by the way, because that's painful as fuck. Obama knows about this. He used to be, I'm guessing he used to be some sort of shifty drug deal leader. He knows. He doesn't like talking about it. But yeah, you can. Now, why? Because Obama would rather drink that away, because that's a painful past. Right? He's from Kenya. And then they'll set something, some meeting up with Obama, right? My guess is. Have a little conversation about what kind of dirty jobs he could, they can do in the meanwhile. Get their college paid for. Probably wouldn't last that long. That's called your volunteering, right? Right? It's all free of charge, right? And they're, they're from a rich family. They can do it, right, guys? And whenever you hear me speak, you, you want to feel like you want to punch me in the face for just saying that if you're rich. Because <laughs> yeah, that's a reality check. They don't care. That's too much work. enough bowing you'll get there no would what would their would their grandchildren do that i don't know i want to enjoy the rest of my life in a jacuzzi hot <laughs> yeah like hey bill hey hey illuminati i'm i'm willing to bow to the ayatollah for all eternity on an eternal feedback loop right just like barack obama if if you can find some way <laughs> Right, you have time. You can do it. You have the right network. You got the right connections, right? I'm. I told him, hey, I want you to find, find, like, I want you to be a dick and go uh, create an Amazon store instead, and deal with the customer service complaints. That is the true pleasure I derive, is opening up an Amazon web store. <laughs> it's just start a conversation, right? Yeah, you're rich. You got it. You got the connections. You got everything. Go, go and do it, right? The ladies didn't start off rich and established. They started off doing really shameful stuff. They had their own AV system, which they didn't really do because they kind of dicked around. But at least they did something, right? Why am I telling you this? Because I have a solid mental core. 
I understand it's a very painful way up the top. It pays off with the genetics, right? That's painful. Uh, it's a very awful. Well, Bill's nice. Hopefully, he doesn't become in, be asked become the AB system fag, right? If I, I don't know, I'm trying to find the nice word term for it. I'm a systems guy. I want to see a system. I want to see your your discipline and gr grilled down, quantified into an AB testing system. Right? You can't sell me a pen right now. Sell me a pyramid scheme that shows me how you can maybe somehow sell a pen, right? And whenever you have a big decision, that's usually the right way to go. All, all it does is cause a shitstorm with your kids, saves you a bunch of money, makes you money too. I, I thought the rich people have children just so they can be happy. They don't care how much money they lose, right? You want stuff like this that Obama bow to low. That's good. That should be on their thoughts for Illuminati, right? He he behaved like Rory Gibb, Bill Gates behaved impeccably. Right? Rory Bill Gates appeared macho. But it was so uskushi beautiful, right? Right? It was so beautiful how he bowed to the Ayatollah, right? Have John Stewart film it. It's like, please, right? I would have done that. <laughs> uh, I'm one of those people that would have done it anyways. Even if I was from a rich family. Because I, I, I'm always thinking about saving cheddar. That's the ironic thing. I'm, I'm open about my love for cheddar. So I'm always respecting other people's cheddar in the meanwhile. And other people will not be playing about it, right? I guess that's what allows them to get away with. They don't feel bad. They feel they don't feel less bad about taking more money. I, I'm always against waste and inefficiency. So they're okay because they want to grill and chill. They're okay with wasting more money than they normally have, right? To achieve something. Long story short, I got a lot of things to ponder. I'm going to cut this short. I've got a lot of things. Um, I got nothing else to say. I All I can say is this is a wild podcast. All right, see you guys.